good afternoon. Hello. Somewhere different. Somewhere different. We're doing something a little bit different today. Yeah. We're going to try out some of the places that are a little more local to the uh, Orlando area, not just Disney and all that stuff. So we're starting right now in Winter Garden. We're at the Plant Street Market. Yeah. You got yourself a nice beer from Crooked Can Brewery. Yeah, this is Crooked Can Brewery. And, and we're waiting on our food from Mac Out. Yeah, so we're just gonna do mac and cheese and beer and very healthy things, but sure. you know. <laughs> but at least we're getting out and doing stuff today. It's also, it's beautiful out. There's Spanish moss blowing in the breeze. It's just, it's pretty, it's nice. It's so, a nice day today. Yeah, and right now I can start with a beer because technically I'm allowed to have beer. I'm not, I'm actually, not technically, I am allowed to have beer. So let's just try that right now. It is the Firkin right now, which I think was a, I mean, I know it's an IPA. I did not look at all the notes, but that doesn't matter if you don't drink a lot of beer, but I love an IPA. It's nice. It's settled in the hops. Um, I thought it would be a little stronger, but I like it, and I mean, you can't beat having a beer outside relaxing, especially when some places of the country are starting to get a little chilly, so. So I just went and grabbed our mac and cheese. That's a ton of food. Uh, it's way too much food. <laughs> That's enough I could give it to someone else. Mm -hmm. We could have portioned this out into two plates yeah. before oh, we no. started. It's a huge portion. Yeah, that's fine. We'll eat yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. And it's actually not. It smells really good. It was like $13 or something? Yeah, it was like, massive. Yep, and yeah. it smells really good. It looks really good. Yeah. Let's dig in. Yeah. From Mac Dow, this is their monthly special, which is the Mac Toberfest. It's traditional mac and cheese with braised pepper medley and topped with Romano crust, gorgonzola, and beer brought medallions. And it's even cooked with the Crooked Can Brewery's Burgermeister beer. So we couldn't leave today without grabbing something for ourselves to go. Yeah. I love always trying to find things to replace my monster drinks in the morning. Yeah, I'm yeah. one of those guilty people. <laughs> so one of my favorite things that I started to try previously was loose teas. And they yeah. have a shop here called Antiquities, which is uh, just all different kinds it. of loose, yeah, right? Yeah. It's all different kinds of loose teas. So she tried to brew me something to substitute for my monster. I like this. I want, it's yeah, good. I want to hear... She says it's full of caffeine. Okay, good. So that's the good thing. But it's a very interesting flavors. She went for some mate teas, and they're two different kind of like designer blends. But they taste very powerful in their flavors, but the flavors themselves are muted flavors. It's like a little bit of a lemongrass, a little bit of a strawberry. So you taste them, but they're not particularly strong flavors to begin with. Okay. So is that's it sweet. It's it doesn't need sweetener, so okay. it is kind of like sweet. So it's just interesting when I said to Ed, oh, it's really strong, but also not powerful. He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's lighter flavors, but it's packed full of them. Oh, I'm missing the straw. As, as you're drinking that, mm -hmm. there was local uh, coffee, mm -hmm. and I, made my, I grabbed myself a latte. Not that I needed more caffeine. I know, neither. We both had our caffeine this morning, but here's to number two. This coffee, this uh, Axios, I think it is, is... So good. It is I the remember, best coffee I've had in a long time. I was gonna say, I remember when we were house shopping and got this yeah. coffee over a year ago now. It's delicious. I probably should have just bought some for home, but we can always come back. We can come back. I'm gonna come back for some tea. I just gotta figure out which ones I want. And, and of course, Ed couldn't leave without a dessert item. David Ramirez chocolates. He went for the macarons. Yeah, well, look, I, we've talked about it in different vlogs over the last several months. I do love macaron, and there were. There's an Earl Grey. Pumpkin cheesecake. They hazelnut. Oh yeah, they're really pretty. I don't know if you can really tell because there's just one in there. <laughs> but I, I promise me they're pretty and I bet they're delicious. All right, so on to our next stop. Yeah, wherever that is. Sure. So we ended up leaving Plant Street Market in Winter Garden. Yeah. And we were starting to drive around and the clouds were looking a little bit nasty. And we decided, you know what? We're going to go home and get some things done around the sure. house. Which is always 
good. It is good. And then the day got away from us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's now the evening. We're relaxing at home with the dogs, having some coffee, the macarons that Ed got. Which are while good. We were there. They're really good. Yeah. And just having an evening at home. So we'll have to go do some of the other cute neighborhoods in Orlando another day. There's a yeah. lot of yeah. them for us to check out. But if you enjoy things like that and want us to go check out more areas like that, Give this video a giant thumbs up. Uh -huh. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we upload an interesting video. And as always, take the link to the video and share. Good night.